Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And the last case of P injunction diode in which we see the reverse bias condition. Reverse bias condition. We've seen the no bias condition. We've seen the forward bias. We see the reverse bias now. In reverse bias, what happens? The P side, the P side is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and the N side is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. So have a look. Let me make the connections first. This is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal. So they are connected in this way. All right. Now what happens if this is a negative, uh, what? The negative terminal. So it is an equivalent to negative charge. So which means the holes will be attracted by the negative charge. Right? Similarly, the positive charge over here will attract the electrons from the N side. All right? So what happens that uncovering of immobile ions take place and we have more charge carriers in the depletion region which means that the depletion region further increases let me write it down the negative terminal what does the negative terminal do it attracts holes attracts holes from p side right what does the positive terminal do? The positive terminal attracts electrons from N side. The net result is what? The net result is uncovering of immobile lines. And uncovering of immobiles mean what? The width of depletion region further. WD is width of depletion region increases. Alright. This is VD. Okay. So let me make it over here. Now this hole has been attracted. This hole has been attracted. This hole has been attracted. So which means these ions have now been uncovered as well. So let me draw it with a new color, with the black color. And this is now the new depletion region. All right. Similarly, these positive. Let me draw these holes over here. These positive ions have been recombined. So I draw it again, uh, they have been uncovered. So I draw it with the black color. To represent the new depletion region like this. So the new depletion region is this one which has increased WD, let's say RB for reverse bias. Now with the application of VD less than 0 which means VD negative. Now this VD negative refers to the reverse bias condition which refers to connecting the P side to the negative terminal and the positive to the N side to the positive terminal. Negative VD is applied so VD has increased. Now with the depletion region we have an associated electric field which is the barrier potential. So, if the VD increases, definitely the barrier potential increases. Now, what happens? The, the majority charge carrier's flow was like this. Let's say from left to right, if this was the majority flow, I majority. And from right to left, we have the minority current's flow. So, now it has a very increased barrier potential. So, due to this, what happens? The majority, the, the majority charge carriers cannot flow. Majority charge carriers cannot flow because the barrier potential has increased significantly, which makes the I majority, I majority approximating to zero. 
and ideal case we consider the majority current that is the diffusion current as zero in the reverse bias state now the only current that exists the only current that exists is the reverse saturation current only current let me mention it by is this is due to the minority charge carriers because the minority charge carriers depends only on the change of temperature and as we have done nothing with the temperature so we have is due to the minority charge carriers which is moving in this direction this is i minimum or minority charge carriers or is whatever you call it all right so let me draw it like this i minimum or is so this is the only current and this is a very small current this is a very small current this is in the range of micro amperes and we mostly neglect this uh, this uh, not mostly we neglect it all of the time the reverse saturation current but over here we don't have any other current so therefore i am supposing this to be uh, this what i'm supposing this that it is present but this is a very small current this is the only current that exists in the reverse bias state all right so that's all about the reverse bias state. Now what happened was the electrons were attracted from the P side, the holes were attracted, sorry, the holes were attracted from the P side, the electrons were attracted from the N side, the width of depletion region increased, which means the barrier potential has increased, which means that the majority charge carriers cannot flow through an increased barrier potential, which makes the, the diffusion current that is due to the majority carriers equal zero. We have a single current in this reverse bias state that is the current due to minority charge current or the reverse saturation current or the drift current now if i <clears throat> summarize it for you so what do we have the width of the depletion region the width of depletion region in the reverse bias state is the greatest right after this comes the width of depletion region under no bias state and the least is the width of depletion region in the forward bias state. We have seen this. Similarly, the barrier potential is the greatest. The barrier potential is the greatest for reverse bias state, followed by the barrier potential with no bias, and the least barrier potential exists when this is forward biased. So that is why in the reverse bias state we don't have any current. So this is an equivalent of an open circuit. Similarly, as we saw in the forward bias state, we have a, a greater flow. So that is an equivalent of a short circuit, short circuit equivalent, right? So this is what you need to keep in mind. This is the summary of what we have seen in the last two and this video, which means a total of three videos we have summarized into this. Now the symbol of PN junction diode, the symbol is what? It's like this, an arrow, right? So say this, this thing, this thing, we have a terminal over here. So this black color represents the P-type material, right? Then we have the depletion region in between the P and N. So this is represented by this green color. And finally, we have this. This is the n-type, but this is the terminal, right? This is the n-type material. The black is the p-type material. Let me draw the terminal by an open. This will now be clear. And the green color, this represents the depletion layer. So that's all about it. That's all about this lecture. So in the next lecture, I don't know, maybe we see the VI characteristics or something else. I don't know that. That was all about the PN junction diode. We saw the three cases, forward bias, reverse bias, no bias. PN junction is what? It is the combination of a P-type material and an N-type material. The process of diffusing that, uh, you know, one half with a P-type, the other half with an N-type, that was called diffusion or it was called an implantation. That's all about today. See you in the next lecture very soon. Till then, take care of yourselves. Not only yourselves, everyone around you. Okay? Till then, goodbye.